Hey guys and welcome back to another episode on the Chaos Craft server. In the last episode guys, we went on a little adventure with me, Zai and Conman. Conman finally came back, hasn't seen him in a while on the Chaos Craft server, but he's back just to have some fun and go on a little adventure with us. And we went to one of the mansions and to be honest with you, I was really disappointed. I thought these mansions would be a lot better. You know the new Woodland mansions they released, I think in 1.11? I honestly thought they would be a lot better, like you get a lot better loot and stuff. I got a Totem of Undying, let me go and show you that quickly. And it's pretty cool, I guess, if you want to go on like a huge adventure and stuff, but you have to think, right? This is the Totem of Undying, right right here. It looks a bit, whoa, I didn't even realize it looked like it in my texture pack, but um, you have to think, these things are quite hard to get, the Totem of Undying, because you have to they get them at a Woodland Mansion and stuff, but the time you go to a Woodland Mansion, you're gonna have all this, all like enchanted armor and everything anyway, so you're pretty much not gonna die. So I don't really see the point of them, to be honest. I'm not trying to be negative here, but I don't really see the point. But before that, guys, we did the bowling alley, the episode before that, and I fixed the glass. <laughs> so many of you were complaining that I didn't put a piece of glass in here, but I did it, I fixed it, guys. And we've got some people spectating right now. One thing I do wanna say, guys, right? I did a server update recently telling you guys about the Chaoscraft network and all the updates that we've got on it. If you didn't know guys, the Chaoscraft SMP server, this server that you're watching me play on right now, is now on the Chaoscraft network. The IP is right there as I'm pressing tab. And these three people on right now are spectating me, watching me do this episode live. So they're going to see this episode before you guys even see it. So if you ever want to come and spectate guys, all you need to do is type this IP in. I usually record my Chaoscraft episodes on a Saturday or a Sunday. So if you're ever free around this, oh, I'm going to say this time, for me it's like 9pm UK time. If you're ever free around kind of like on a Saturday and Sunday, just come check on the server, see if I'm recording and you can come and spectate me. But I do want to say, if I type this command in right now, look how busy the server is. There is 95 people on the server right now. There's 8 in creative, 56 in the new roleplay server. We have 26 in survival and then someone in the lobby and then 4 of us in the SMP server has been so busy for the last week because we released a new roleplay server people are absolutely loving it i've literally just finished live streaming on the survival server we had like 160 people on today it was insane all at one time it's like one of the records that we've ever had on the server it's really really awesome but i just thought i had to tell you guys that because i'm really proud of it because this is like our server my server and it's just nice to have so many people on the server enjoying it so i just wanted to say that before we get started but today guys i am going to build in this room right here as you can see i've done a lot of the prep right here as usual but guys i mentioned in i think it was the bowling early episode that i want you guys to make suggestions to me and tell me what kind of rooms you want me to build in my house and i thought it was a really good idea a good good way to take the series you know you guys suggest things and i build it so Today, I took a comment and I'm going to put it on the screen now and it is from Ivy Low Yuk Lin and they suggest, can you build a wine cellar in your house? And that's what I'm going to do in this one right here. It's not exactly a cellar, but we're going to make it look like a wine cellar in my house right here. Now, the reason I've only dug out some of these walls there is because that is the kind of theme that I'm going to be going for. I've got all my blocks that I want in here. I'm going to get some stone brick and we're going to fill up the side around here. Now, I was debating in this room to go with a spruce floor or a stone floor. Originally, I wanted to go for a stone floor, but I just thought the transition from like the wood here and stone in here was just, I didn't like it. So I decided to just go with a wood floor. So we're gonna have to make some modifications to this. This room is that I'm gonna be building today is actually a room that I designed with Epica. If you guys remember when I did my furniture design videos, uh, me and Epica did a room like this as a wine cellar kind of room. We designed it together, but I'm gonna change it up a little bit for this because I want it to fit the style of my house. So we're gonna see how it comes out. I'm not sure. I know I know what the room looks like personally myself, but it wasn't built in like a modern house like mine is. So we're gonna have to see what this room comes out like. So there's a reason why I've kind of like stopped the stone brick there because I wanted it to kind of be like that. I wanted there to be a bit of separation there as well. So what we're gonna do in a wine cellar, what do they have? They have like kegs and stuff like that where you put all your beer and all that kind of cool stuff. So the first thing I want to do here is I'm trying to think if I made this room big enough. Let me get some cobblestone quickly because to mark some stuff out 
because I need to figure out whether I made this room big enough. So the, the middle of the room's here. We're going to have a fireplace in the middle here. So the fireplace is going to be three wide and then we're going to put one there and one there. So the fireplace is going to be that wide. Yeah, I think we've, I think, yeah, yeah, this is good. We're good. We're good. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do some kind of, I don't know what to call it. Some framework, I guess you can call it, where the the kegs and stuff are going to go. So we're going to put two, and then we're going to put one in the middle right there, like that. And then we're going to put two like that. And then the middle one is just going to go all the way up to the ceiling. And this is where kind of like we're going to put, like, if you think if it's a wine cellar, this is where we're going to have wine. This is where we're going to have, like, beer and stuff like that. This is where it's going to go right there. Then in the middle, oh, let me move this over one, actually. I'm going to move this over one there. I'm going to put that there like that then i'm going to get rid of this wood i finally made an axe after all these episodes i haven't had an axe i'm just marking stuff out here right now i'm gonna put some cobblestone here i know it's a very different um kind of style that we've done from the other rooms but i'm hoping it's gonna work i wanted to kind of mix up the style but don't i don't, I don't want to make it look like it's out of place you know so we're going to put some kegs and stuff there then we're going to have like a free block gap here for some storage and then we're going to put another cobblestone part there like that so we've got yeah two block gap in the corner that's what we want so let's do the same over here let's put our cobblestone there let's put this one right here like that and then we're going to put the last one right there now i'm thinking should i put some more cobblestone either side of the fireplace no i'm gonna put um, i'm just thinking thinking to myself i want the fireplace to go back in the wall so i'm gonna dig this part out yeah, let's dig this part out because I want the fireplace to go back here. I wanted to put a shelf above it, but then I thought to myself, you know what? I can't put a shelf above it because it's fire and fire, fire burns wood. And I'm so used to building in creative that you can't really put shelves above fireplaces and stuff like that. So let me put the wood back along here. Uh, not like that. Let's uh, mess that one up. Let's put that there like that. And then we're going to replace that one. And put that head there so this is kind of like the markings that i want and i want a little table in the middle as well um let's try and mark out some seats i'm just going to mark this out because i'm not sure how i want it i usually do the marking out off camera like when we did the bowling alley i usually did that off camera but i think sometimes you guys like to see the like procedure that goes through my head uh, trying to mark out this stuff so i'm thinking maybe a seat right there and then we could have a table there and then another seat there but I don't like how close that is to the fireplace so let's move all this back so this is pretty much what my I go through in my head when I'm building I, I just I build things and I take it down I build things and take it down I never build stuff and it's just perfect first time you've always got to kind of like mess around with it see if you like it if you don't like it you got to take it down and then just see see what happens you know um yeah, I think that's good space. He must have, that's a two block gap there, but this is a three to two and a half block gap there. Yeah, that's good. That's good. So we're going to have a little table area right there as well. So what I'm thinking in these areas over here, I'm thinking that we just put maybe, I'm trying to think, trying to think. Um, let's put like a little unit like this either side now it's not going to stay like this but i'm going to put stuff on it which i think will look good now i do want some shelves in here and i do have some dark oak stuff ah oh, dark oak stairs i didn't even realize i had dark oak stairs that's exactly what i wanted now i want to put some shelves up here now we're going to have like a keg there and so we're going to have some shelves going all the way across here like that not that way the other way just like that there we go and we're going to do the same on why do I keep misplacing my stairs? This is annoying me. Let's do this right there. So cool. We've got some stairs going on in here as well now. Right. So let me show you the wine cellar part of it. Because I guess some of you are thinking this is this doesn't look like a wine cellar. And this is what I was going to get at. Now I have my spruce stairs. Now there's a few ways we can do a wine cellar. We can make kegs, which basically look like, um, let me get the position. No, that's not right. But look, I yeah let me break this <laughs> let me break this it's hard to place these stairs sometimes right let's let me show you this so this is going to be like a keg like this 
And if you don't know what a keg is, a keg is basically where you store alcohol. That is what it is. Um, and then we're going to put that there and we're going to put that one there like that. So we could do kegs like this and it kind of like a big barrel kind of thing. Or what I was thinking we could do is, um, do I have regular logs? I guess I could use these logs. Um, let's get some tripwire hooks. I was gonna. I was planning on doing them up here. Let me grab some cobblestone, and then we can jump up here. What we can do is in like this area here. If I dig out the wall, which will be pretty useful, we could do stuff like I don't know. Like let's do that there. Put one there, one there, and then we can put trip wire hooks on it as well. So that's kind of like some keg stored up there. I do like that. I think that looks really, really cool. And we could do the same up in these areas as well. So it looks like we're storing some more stuff. Okay, yeah, yeah. We're getting this now. We're getting we're getting the hang of what we want. So let me just place a stair there. And then we're gonna have an upside down. We have a regular, and then we're gonna do the same on this side. So we're gonna do the same on both sides. It's gonna be pretty much symmetrical let's do on this side this is the hardest bit to do is place these stairs you have to place one first and then you have to just kind of work your way around it let's do that then here oh that that was totally wrong this one is a big big fail let's do that there i, I should have enough am i just going to keep placing blocks like this i should have enough materials doing this i definitely should have enough so upside down and then regular can you put trip wire hooks on these no, you can't. I was thinking that could be kind of cool, but you can't put stuff on the side of stairs because that is how Minecraft works. So let's put an upside down right there, upside down, and then bam, like that. All right, so we've got some kegs. Now I want to put some more of these style kegs up here as well. I'm thinking I'm going to put these going across here too. And then I was going to have some just, just some single chests in there. Actually, could I have double chests in there? That could be... Mm, you know what? I'm just going to do single for now. I could have double, but it's just going to be too much digging. So let me go up here again, like this, and then we're going to put some more of these. Going to dig this space out here just so we could add some variety to it. Like we're going to add one going out here, like that, and then one going out there. Put that there, like that. Uh, I don't want that one like that. I, I want it to face because I think it looks more like a barrel if you could see like the exposed wood right there. And then we're going to put these on there, like this. So the idea is that we've got like smaller kegs up there and we've got bigger kegs down here. And then I want to put some storage right there. I think I have some chests in here. I do. I have 20. Ah, I do need some trip uh, trap chests though. So we have to put these like that and I'll put trap chests in the middle. Let's put them there. That looks good to me. And then we're going to put some more kegs up here as well. And we should be good to go. Let's dig all this out. This is actually coming together quite nicely. Now, I wish I had a better house layout and I could actually put like a cellar in because this is not really like a cellar, is it? A cellar, when I think of a wine cellar, I think of the stairs going down to a, like a basement, but I don't really have a basement. Well, I guess this kind of is my basement, isn't it? Because I've got stairs coming down here, but I don't really have like a real basement, but it does look like a wine cellar, doesn't it? Like when you come in here, that actually did look like a wine cellar to me. Let's uh, go up here and fix this. And we're going to put two on this side, one on that side. And then we're going to put some trip wire hooks on that as well. Um, did I have one on over there? Yeah, I did. Let's just build across and we'll take this down when we get over there. So the sides look pretty cool to me, guys. This is kind of what I imagined. This is kind of what I wanted in mind. I want to put some more detail on the cobblestone areas. I think that will look really good. Let's put that there. Did I do that? Yeah, I did that on the other side as well. I wanted to make it different, but it doesn't matter. Right, let's take that out. So what I want to do now, I want to make some cobblestone stairs because I don't like the cobblestone kind of pillars that I've got um, kind of like support in the room. I want it to be a little bit different. I want to make some different stuff with it. I've got cobblestone. I do not have a crafting table, but I have myself a bunch of wood and I can make a crafting table. Um, let me do this like that. There we go. And we can place this down. And then we will, what, what did I want to make? I wanted to make some cobblestone stairs. Here we go. Like that. So there we go. Got some cobblestone stairs. Now what I wanted to do is add some detail. Just simple detail. Just some stairs up like that. And then we can add another stair. Yeah, let's do that on each one. Upside down. Another stair. Like this. There we go. 
yeah i like that but what we're going to do we're going to we're going to make it look a little bit better not just going to be floating like that we're going to make some more stairs just to add give the room some character you'll be surprised simple stuff like this when you're building just just mixing up some stairs mixing them matching them making them look a little bit different it goes a long way it really does and you can just you can see it most people builds you ever come on a server go on the creative world you can see a lot of people use stairs and different varieties and stuff and just go around look at a few you get tons of inspiration i personally get inspiration just from flying around the server and looking at people's builds and seeing what they do i think it's really cool um we're gonna do this like this right there there we go yeah i think that adds hmm just something i don't like about this there's something I do not like. I think this one here should be a stair. Yeah, I think that should be a stair. So I need one and then I need two, three, four, five, six. So I need six stairs. I think that should be a stair. Yeah, I think that's what it was. I didn't I didn't really like that. There was something about it. Like when you when you build stuff, sometimes when you look at it, you just you know you like hmm that's not right and that's what i felt right there i felt like that one wasn't right so let's fix this upside down stair there stair there let's do this on each one yeah that looks a bit better that looks a bit better so what i'm going to do with this fireplace right here now we're going to do something similar to what we just did a second ago now i'm thinking what we could do here is maybe add some upside down stairs and then i'm thinking let's get ourselves a cobblestone block if we can add a cobblestone block there and then maybe a regular stair regular stair and then upside down stair on top yeah i like that that looks cool now what i wanted to do what i wanted to do with this fireplace obviously a fire is going to go right here now i'm scared that this is going to burn down my house i don't think it will but we're going to put some should we put stone brick there? I think we should. Put some stone brick there, get some iron bars like that. And that's gonna be a fireplace. I wanted to put a shelf up there, but let me get some, uh, what's it called? St I keep forgetting everything today. I keep forgetting all the names of everything. Never rack, <laughs> there we go. It's been a long day, guys. I've done two streams before this video. And now this and this is my th like third thing I'm doing today after that. Now that shouldn't burn it down. I, I think, I think fire spread might be off on the server. I'm not sure because what I actually wanted to do, I wanted to put stone brick behind this and then I wanted to put a shelf up there. I also want to put some shelves along here too. Where's the shelves on these ones? They're up this high like that. Let's put the shelves up here like that. And I wanted to put a shelf there. Let's see if it burns down. It should if it doesn't burn down then fire spread is off on the server and i don't know why but <laughs> let it, i'm happy if it's off <laughs> if it's off it's off then i don't mind oh that's gonna burn it doesn't matter don't need any more iron let's and let's put our stone brick around there like this it helps me with fire spread being off because it means i can make more creative things and that's pretty good so yeah i like that i would put maybe like a flower pot on there as well now this area looks a bit weird in the corner so what i'm thinking is i don't have much more cobblestone i'm thinking that i just extend this cobblestone just to add some like so it looks like it's connected there i like that i think that looks good yeah i like this let's do that can i fit that up there oh whoa that's like my last piece of cobblestone yeah guys it's starting to look good now because these are like all the kegs and stuff it looks like a wine cellar now for these areas in the corner i'm gonna do your traditional kind of wine cellar kind of thing where it's like this hmm that doesn't look right to me something about that there's something about that maybe maybe these should go yeah, let's maybe put this back in the wall one. I think that will look a lot better. So we've got like a little shelf area right here. And then what we're going to do, we're going to put it back one like this. So if I can knock this out like that, and then we can put it here. I think that will look a lot better. So if I do it like this way, maybe, because when it's going into the corner, and then we could just do it like this. Oh, whoa. My stair placement today has been amazing. <laughs> it really has. So let me get some of these and then we can put that there and then put that there, that there. This is so difficult to place. 
Now this would be, this area here, you probably know what it is. This is, the, oh yeah, I like that. This is where you're going to put like your wine bottles and stuff. I like that. I think that adds to it a lot. So we're going to put that on this side too. And we're going to make the wall go back one as well, which I think will look a lot better. So we've, we've pretty much covered all bases. We've got like our kegs and we're going to have some wine bottles over here as well. I was originally planning to put some stuff here, like some cauldrons maybe, but I think having these here will look pretty good. Look, can I put, put that there? There we go. Let's put that there like that. Oh, I can't, I can't fit that. This is so difficult. So I'm like turning my head to try and place it. There we go. Nice. Cool, we've got that there. I think that looks good, and especially when I turned it in that way there. So yeah, that's where we're kind of store the wine bottles. Now I think pretty much fire spread is not on because that would have burnt down by now. So we're pretty good with that. So now what we can do is work on the middle area where I marked out this, and I think we're pretty much done with the room. Now, like I said, guys, I wasn't sure with the floor being wood. I kind of wanted it to be stone, but I think the wood looks okay. I do think the wood looks okay. And I do want some tripwire hooks in there. And I need to kind of light up the area as well. But that looks good. I like this room. I like this room. I really do. I think it looks really good. Right, let's get us some of this. And I was going to use brown carpet, but I don't think I can now. I've got... Ooh, we might need some different rug stuff. Let me get the cauldrons. I want to see what they look like as well. I'm not even sure how long this episode is. I wanted to put cauldrons here. And fill them up with water so we've got some like i don't know just, just like a sink or something you know like that and then we eat some food yeah i think that adds a bit of depth there you know what we could do actually do we have our tripwire hooks we could add the trip oh we can't mm, no we can't do that i was gonna put a tripwire hook to make it look like a tap or something like that right let's do these let's do the stairs let's do the seats we're gonna do the same seats that we did over there I, it was two blocks away wasn't it yeah we're gonna do that like this Oh, we don't have any slabs. Now, I do want to do a table in the middle. I want to do something a bit different. I want to do, let's get some dark oak. I need that axe. And I want to put some dark oak, maybe. Where was the other one? The other, the other chair. I need to work out where the other chair was going to go. The other chair was going to go two away from there. And then it's going to be like this, right? Like that. And then, the, yeah, yeah, here we go. Here we go. We're going to put a table right here. Like that. Yeah, I think that's going to be a pretty good table. I would put some maybe pressure plates on it or something. But we need to put, we need to get rid of this stuff. So we need a rug around. Now I'm going to put a rug around this table here. So I'm thinking that I'm going to just put glowstone in each one of these corners. And then we can hide it with some carpet. Now I'm not sure what color carpet I'm going to have. I had some black um, carpet in my chest. That might go. Because the room's kind of like a dark theme, isn't it, with the with the thing. Is the room too dark now? Is it lit up? I think that's kind of lit up, isn't it? Uh, we have grey and we have black. I do not have a lot. Let me try this one. Can I make some carpet out of this one right here? Can you make it like this? Is that how you make it? Yeah, you do. Oh, that might give me enough, actually. Eight pieces. Is that enough? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is not enough. So I need one, two, three, four, five, six more pieces. Six more pieces. So, oh, we've got, oh, that's a stone pressure plate. So let me go get the final touches. I need quartz slabs to put there. I need some stone pressure plates to put on here. And I need some pieces of carpet to go around there. And I might get a flower pot to put on there and, and the chest as well. So I'm going to quickly cut, guys, get all the finishing touches so we can finish off the wine cellar. Right guys, I have the book now and we are back for this week's shout out. Just want to give a special shout out to Ivy who came up with the idea for the wine cellar room. Thank you so much for that, Ivy. But the person who's going to go on the shout out wall who is this week's ninth, oh, this week's ninth shout out is going to be, I don't know how to pronounce your name properly, so I'm really sorry if I get it wrong, but it is Kahim Kahim Duffy, I think that's how I say it now. I know you've got an Irish name and I'm probably saying it completely wrong, but you are this week's shout out. And I'll tell you why I gave you this week's shout out is because you're such a loyal subscriber. I see you in the comment section all the time on my videos, always leaving positive comments. And I just really, really appreciate that. And I think you deserve this shout out. So it's kind of like a double shout out this week. We have Ivy and we have Kahim up there as well. But guys, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you again in another episode on the chaos craft server